Hey, what is going on guys? Alpha Gamer 12 here and I'm back with another episode of The Road to Glory and I'm gonna be honest with you guys This week has been a super super busy week for me I have not had the opportunity to be playing a lot of FIFA, especially on the console So um, I did a lot of stuff on the um, What's it called? The web app and the companion app, which I'll walk you guys through uh, Just in a second, but I figured we could before we do that we could just do something that I have uh, worked a little bit on just for something different, something f for a little bit of fun because I know I'm not going to get a bunch of packs for Rivals because I've, I haven't really gotten a good chance to play it. I went through and I did the bronze to silver and silver to gold and gold non-rare to rares and I've managed to get us four of these. I know it's not a big deal but eight rare uh, cards. We could pull something nice, it'll be untradeable, but it's something nice and different for me to do to give myself like kind of a reward for going through and um, like being able to stay away from FIFA and do the other things that are kind of important. So I thought we'd do something fun to just get back into FIFA for a while before I go back into the hell that is playing division rivals with a garbage team. So let's just open these four up. Chances are we're not gonna get anything good, but you know, it doesn't hurt, you know, the like rolling the dice with trying to open up packs, you never know. Okay, so nothing, not a board. What do we got? Cool, 76 rated. Perfect. That's that's what we're looking for, boys. Um, these uh, he's he does he actually looks pretty good. I doubt he goes for anything. Not uh, he doesn't. Not that I could sell him anyways, just out of curiosity. So these aren't necessarily like super helpful. I mean, uh, if we pack something that's like really good for uh, SPCs, that might help eventually. Okay. Is this Illicit? No, it's Campbell again. Okay. Well, that's actually fine because it's going to be a first owner center mid in the Bundesliga, so that'll work towards us getting the um, icon thing done. But uh, yeah, so that's the other kind of thing that um, I'm doing this for. So not only is it just to give myself like a little break from just playing rivals and stuff and give me something fun to do because packs are always fun. Um, it's also to see if we can't pull some nice players that are first owned for the... Uh, that's just nothing, isn't it? Yeah for the icon things because those are going to be difficult currently i am dying trying to get wins with the french squad so if we could pack someone nice for the french one i would really really appreciate it, it would be really nice we'll, we'll see though it doesn't seem like it we packed one nice player we walked we packed campbell so at least there's that um okay nothing from that right yeah nothing okay Actually, no, that is not nothing. That's Ricardo Pereira. That's actually a really nice right back. It's just unfortunate that we're already playing Aria. Um, ooh, and Jordan, look. Okay, so Lukaku is definitely one that we could think about trying to play in the, um, the Serie A team once we get to doing that. But, uh, yeah, so we'll, 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 think about, we'll think about those guys in a minute. But what I have done is as you guys can quite clearly see as I have bid on just a ton of players I have 26 here and then the Neuer the Neuer we don't need to consider he's gonna be something different but basically I looked up what people are predicting for the um, what's it called the next set of marquee matchups and this is just something that I'm I'm probably gonna publish this video after the marquee matchups come out so we'll know after that if I've made the right prediction or not, but I didn't want to do this before like ahead of time in case my predictions go wrong I didn't want to like Show this to you guys and then get it wrong And then you guys all have invested with me and then we're all in trouble together. I'd rather try it out first and then see What happens? Um, so that being said I also did some investing for Team of the Week. So I picked up this Gundogan. I picked up I think two Gundogans. Yeah, I picked up two of them yesterday last night for seven and a half K right and so I know he's gonna be out of packs this week so the idea is I'm gonna wait on him for midweek or something and then list him up afterwards maybe during uh, once uh, there might be a new SBC or something for the UCL or for scream it, it seems a little bit strange that we haven't got anything for Scream yet, but if we get something for Scream, his price will go up because he's 83, uh, 84, sorry. We also picked up Dina because I saw that Dina was uh, like being suggested as one of the players who's going to be in the team of the week. So yeah, he's already gone up a little bit. 
already making profit on him probably even though not that much any uh, yet the same goes for the Schmeichel so I looked up what the predictions were who were the best performers for the team of the week and um, the main ones that I kept seeing again and again were uh, Schmeichel Gundogan and uh, Dina so I put pe picked a couple of them up I also saw Munier and it looks like I didn't do a really good like Munier I don't think got into the team of the week so Munier is not gonna be one of the ones but that's all right Otherwise, in other like words, I picked up a couple of Vinyaki Williams while his price was low at 13.5. So I'm going to hold him until tomorrow. Currently, it is Wednesday for me. So for tomorrow during the uh, insanity that is the Rivals Rewards, I'm going to try to sell him off. Other than that, I picked up a bunch of these McKinney's. Same concept. I picked them up for discard price. So if I don't make anything on him, I'll just sell. Uh, I should. It should be a pretty like solid bet that he's gonna go up in price because that card that he has this week looks insane. Picked up a couple of um, so a couple more Manchester United players, some uh, Dortmund and uh, Mönchengladbach players, and some Liverpool players. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, basically marquee matchups this week is looking like it's gonna be Liverpool and Manchester United. And then uh, Legia Varsa, I think is, is the name of that other team. It is, right? Yeah? Yeah. Right? Yeah, that is. Okay. Yeah, so those are looking like, the th uh, and I don't remember, they're playing another Polish League team. And then I didn't, I wasn't really sure what the third one was. There's a bunch of, like, it was kind of like a toss up kind of situation. So I didn't want to go and, like, put any more coins into that that I wasn't sure about so those three were the ones that were pretty much confirmed so I just sat there and I put up picked up a bunch of them while they were low and stuff and so uh yeah they're just gonna sit in my club now until either marquee matchups come out and I got it right and I make a bunch of coins I use some of them in my my own um what's it called my own SBCs that I need to complete for marquee matchups or they're not there and I am a very sad person. Yeah, I, oh god, I hate the new pictures. I, I think it's just because I got so used to seeing the, the old ones. Now that the new ones are here, they just look wrong. So yeah, that's, that's what we've got in terms of just uh, investments. We have quite a few players just sitting around in the club. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Not entirely sure. But uh, yeah, now that we've talked a little bit about... Um, investments and stuff i think that's the end of the episode for today because i need to go away and play some games and um yeah we just did a couple of episodes that were super gameplay heavy so we're not going to do that so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like and a comment let me know down below uh if you guys want to see more content that is like gameplay related or you guys want to see more of a balance where every episode we have a game or two games or something like that or if you guys want longer games full games something like that let me know what you guys want to see down below. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It's really appreciated. And as always, guys, I will see you guys next time.